Money has little to do with how smart you are and more to do with how you behave. When we think of money, everyone has an opinion. Whether it's that one uncle who sells his house in order to invest in Bitcoin, or that one friend who's so frugal that they never want to share the bill, money has always been a divisive subject. When we look at the origins of money, it can be traced back to 4,000 years ago with the ancient Egyptians using coins in order to trade. With the growth and development of societies, so has our relationship with money changed as a result. In today's world, money is still at the forefront of how we live our lives. Many people choose their career and the place they live based on the potential income that they might make. There is obviously nothing inherently wrong with this, but it does raise an interesting question. What is the purpose of money? I recently finished reading The Psychology of Money by Morgan Housel. In the book, Morgan explores human psychology towards money. What became evident as I was reading the book was money is a lot less to do with technical knowledge and more to do with our behavior. Once you understand that so-called established wealth building systems, such as the 401k and the Roth IRA in the US were established in 1978 and 1998 respectively, you come to appreciate how early we are in understanding changes in our relationship towards money. The book highlights that luck and risk play a huge factor in this regard as well. Citing the specific example of Bill Gates, luck is exponentially a more important factor in building wealth than individual effort. Not to diminish the power of individual effort, but understanding the role of luck in particular highlights that financial success is rarely as good or bad as it seems. One of the underlying principles of the book, which I explored in my previous video, The Disciplined Pursuit of Less, is the idea of enough. Enough, as stated by Morgan in the book, is an insatiable appetite for more, which leads you to the point of regret. Well, that's the same concept when pursuing wealth with no barometer. The carrot will continually be dangling in front of you as you desire more. As someone who is conscious about how I spend my money, but also my time and energy, it is important to know what goal that I am playing in order to determine how much is enough. There is a lot to learn from this book, and as someone who doesn't enjoy reading technical financial investing books, I find that this book really delved deeply into the human psychology behind money. In particular, the historical examples that we can learn from and some of the pitfalls that we can avoid along the way. Like many things in life, it's not due to your technical knowledge, it's more to do with how you behave. Thank you for watching this video. I've put my one minute book review link to The Psychology of Money here. Definitely go and check it out. See you in the next video.